So, Will, what was the Blade of Frontier's toughest kill? Ah, it was a great scrap. A hungry minotaur with a hankering for human flesh. The dog lowers his hackles, his head tilted inquisitively. Convinced that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. Around his neck is a collar etched with a name, Scratch. With a deep, heartbroken whine, the dog bows his head. The dog looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. The dog sniffs your hand, his tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. Something's waiting up ahead. Get over there! Surround them like! You spoiled us! Good! It's like they say, no fun in skewing a pig what doesn't know he's cooked! We got you surrounded! Here's how this goes! You take one step further, and we'll fill your front with arrows! Or you turn around, and your backside gets the same treatment. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. You're a true soul. But my mistake, sir. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. You'll get no more trouble from us. Promise. It seems our infection comes with an unexpected symptom. The ability to influence others. An interesting development, but one to be treated with caution. For better or for worse. We'll never know unless we take the risk. A calculated risk, mind. Trap. Be cautious. Should get started. My faith protects me. Let's get this lock to yield. Can't give up now.
These things have stayed interesting. Better be careful. Those webs carry vibrations. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. The creature's eyes roll back in its head, equal parts bliss and agony. She'd eaten, feasted, and yet, looking into her eyes, you can see it wasn't enough. She's still hungry. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. Gnolls, vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. As the life fades from her eyes, the knoll within her dies too, stillborn. Hyenas birthing 
knows? How horrid. Vile creatures. Nothing that's born of a corpse should be allowed to live. One horn, the stink of Avernus, Advocatus Diaboli. <sighs> well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers, but I... Ugh! A great heat roars through you, her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood, the blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence. Proof that you're a devil, a gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Or near it anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. Will catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil. Listen to sense now. I don't want this to end badly for either of us. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I'm Karlak. But you already knew that. And you are... Well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out... I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. But devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tear, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. Yes. They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Then we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? I like her. She looks like she could throw me over her shoulder and carry me to safety. Should the need arise. 
try and hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. Ooh, I'm getting all het up. Let's make tracks. So, Will, now that we've made peace, how about we get to know each other properly? What's your story? Not so much a story as a pantomime. And I've played my part all too poorly. I would too. Go on, Will. We're listening. Who's sick to you on me? You're not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to your throat, Karlak. You make it sound like a harvest of devils coming for you, Will. You're closer than you know. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll face my penance. You're not in any danger, I promise. I can't say the same about me. in peace and we shall leave you in kind cut the crap anders i know what you are don't let her hurt us please we just want to go home the archduchess will be delighted when we return with karlak's head on a pike I never was good at playing the coward. There is no beast here or in the hells I fear. Not with her ladyship's protection. Least of all, this dog. You'd do well to reconsider your alliance with this animal. She destroys all she touches. Useful in the blood war. Frighteningly dangerous anywhere else. Rage all you want, Karlak. Burn with the might of the hells. Zariel will find you. She will bring you home in pieces. And your little friends will have to watch. Unless we feed you their eyeballs first. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back! Go back. I'm never coming back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, 
They'll find nothing but a pile of ash. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger. <laughs> to do it. Whew. Had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Careful, soldier. If I burn any hotter, I might explode. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. Wild, right? And believe it or not, I'm one of Zariel's least mutilated pets. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the Scar show for later, after we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things, if I can find him. Sounds like a good lead. Hopefully, our guy will be among them. A tune-up would do this old tub a world of good. And you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. Well, you absolute stinker. You kept me a secret. Hmm. Time to let the Hellcat out of the bag. Call me Mazora. I'm Will's patron. The fount of his power. My pet's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora, and at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. You told me! Devils only! 
She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupster's found his bark. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. Don't you worry. That ship has long sailed the sticks. But a defiant pup must still pay his price. To wit. Oil burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. That's better. What the hells have you done? A promise broken, a price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. Now, let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. I'll be honest, soldier, I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. Been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. You can say that again. When he was chasing me through Avernus, I thought he was just another sad merc. How wrong I was. Gods damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Warlock packs tend to be unforgiving from what you know of them. Will was lucky he didn't face a more severe punishment. I'd count my lucky stars for it, but I reckon luck is on holiday. I'm only alive because my patron still has use for me. It's Mazora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast eldritch blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. There could well be. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. We can, I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. Hey, soldier. You 
sleep, are you? I'm buzzing, honestly. I couldn't wait to talk to you. Isn't it mad? How good life is. Thank the gods. I was afraid I was the only one. Ten years is a long time to be trapped in the hells. Ten years without a kind word. A touch. When I look at you, I feel real again. Alive. Gods, I want to ride you till you see stars. <laughs> Guess not. I just feel what I feel. No sense hiding it. I know. What I want and what I can have are two very different things. I'm just... Mm, combustible. Ten years is a long time without anyone's touch but my own. And when I look at you, I just feel... explosive. I'll turn you to charcoal. Guaranteed. We can try, but don't hurt those pretty lips of yours, all right? They feature heavily in my future plans. Mm, wait, no! Are you all right? <laughs> you can't make me be the responsible one. I'll destroy us both. So, what do we do now? Please. My life is an instant mood killer. And I'm enjoying this mood. Maybe even a little too much. I better head back to my bunk. You might not be able to touch me, but you've given me a lot to uh, think about. Whatever killed those gnolls might be nearby. Careful. raised in the city. I'm more used to feeling cobblestones underfoot than grass and fallen leaves. Before I went to Avernus, I'd have agreed with you. Nothing quite like Baldur's Gate, is there? Nothing in my recollection, anyway.
Seems like a pack of goblins swarmed the Arbor. She deserved better than that. Need anything else? Of course. But please, remember, you're not the only one in need. Silva. Thanks. Or metal. That's what my engine's made of. Hang on to that. Again. Thought I sensed an infernal around here. But you aren't from Elterel. What's your story? I spent a good bit of time in the house. Enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elturel. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. And... You brought some infernal machinery with you. A little gift from Zariel. Keeps me burning hot. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning out a piston ring or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Be my guest. But don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut. Phew! You really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together tried to house metallurgized Demano valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. I might be able to help, but I'd need infernal iron. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. That thing isn't meant to operate outside of Vernus. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. Hey, soldier. I think we picked up some of that infernal iron already. What say you? Should I give it to him? 
Please let this work. Mm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. That feels... good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? Damn druids. Who uses wooden tools? I suppose you... They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can... Don't make me face any more of them. At least... Not alone. Thank you. I had a feeling you'd be understanding. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Bring it on. seen that game in years. Goblins ahead. The war drum. One of those can summon fighters far and wide. Look it, Claw! Sapper's here! Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck sight! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Um, down, Claw! Bad girl! Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. Easy, lads. We got a true soul coming through.
the voice is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you. An armored male elf, exuding power and command. A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. Energy pulsing from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. Give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. Nice one, Shadowheart. That thing in your pocket seems powerful as hell. Trust me, I will. Let's keep going. Sounds like they've captured themselves a bard. <laughs> Not if you dare recoil of your bust! Oh. You look like you got something, Jing. Looking to spend it? Get moving. Mortals all hinders me quick. The true souls are coming. The louders are quick. The Apollo, the Fall, and what? Great glory. Hell, sat yowl and bleeds the ears. Is that supposed to be entertainment? He's a distraction. Don't get me wrong. It's funny poking him and watching him holler. But we got serious business to be about here. Chicken chasing. <laughs> Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs, mate. You just gotta chase the chicken round the course and through the posts. But that ain't all. Gotta do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy? It ain't. Come back when that halfwit's done wailing and find out. Fake as a boy, I don't fancy chasing this thing. Bloody bard. Used to be goblins had taste. Goblin kind will achieve. Bloody bard. His name is absolute. Bloody bar. You would draw you the truth. Not if you dare recoil of your must. A new 
New Age is joining with wings. and trust. Reckon it can fly? No. 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 Too, too, bad. too quick. Dragons, it's back. They fly. Fly. The loudest was quick. Time has come. Dear. More Saluna dedications. Bloody racket. Oi, so much fun. Oi, what's the bloody ruckus out there? The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Outside, you bloody pisspot! Tell the rest of them to keep it down and all. Work going on in here. Bloody racket. Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Good. Saluna is a bad omen. Just look what's befallen her temple. Though, I'll grant it must have been impressive once. In all its profane glory. I wonder what happened. No matter. I'll breathe easier once we're clear of this place. We don't have time for this. Besides, I already explained myself.
those ranks. Get out of here. The lock clicks and opens. Thank you. I... I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. like burnt flesh in here. to step. Seems like the best way.
live for a good rest about now. Nothing will stand in my way. If this is worth the cost, at the ready. Pardon the viscera. 
one should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature, or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. I must admit, I didn't expect anyone would come to my aid. Who in their right mind would infiltrate a goblin-infested temple? Unless... Uh, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... Something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Hmm... That looks very alien. As alien as the Mind Flayers, they do not belong on this world. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles. But I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. No, this is... different. Altered. The magic used is beyond me. It's either not of this world, or so ancient as to be lost to even nature's memory. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. Gladly, but first I must return to the grove. As you made short work of the goblins' leaders, there's nothing stopping me. Come join me in your own time. I can see to some matters there, and we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here. Zevlor, by Delt's virtue, the Blade of Frontiers? What's happened, Will? I paid the price of angering the wrong devil. Believe me, I understand better than most. A moment passes as Zevlor contemplates Will's words. He then turns his attentions to you. A scout just reported. The Goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. 
Very good of you. Thank you. Hal Sin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Korga. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. We're ready to head to your camp. Are you? You saved us. I wasn't sure we'd make it through. I wish I had better, but this is all I have. Tamora's luck twist. Who uses wooden tools? You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. I owe you nothing. Goblins swarmed us like roaches while you stumbled after the pass. You chose to abandon us. I chose to protect us. Silence. The right has been ended. I will allow you to stay. But consider yourself a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, our place in the natural order. You shall learn it all once again, right here. Backslide, and nature's fury will crush you. As you wish, Master Halcyon. She shows great insolence, but... Time will humble her, and the Grove still needs her. You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The Grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. The journey to Moonrise Towers and all the dangers that that entails. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest, celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. Serve to be banished. Then banish me. When the coming of
You've done it. You've brought House in back. Thank you. No. Thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. As am I. The grove will be whole again. Let me show you on your map where you can find the cache. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. Beautiful glaive. So why does touching it give me a knot in my stomach? Yes, my friend? I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. We killed some goblins to save some tieflings. The tally of lives didn't change much. But what do I get for all my hard work? A pat on the head and vinegar for wine. By all means, go and enjoy yourself. I'll be here, waiting for the sunrise. Would you look at this place? All these people, happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. And with such lovely company with you and just lately I feel like I can remember what it's like to be good I tried in the beginning 
blew up in my face spectacularly. Lesson learned, never try to befriend a devil, cambion, or imp. Orphans are good for a drink and joke, but you can't turn your back on them. But hey, enough about that. That's history now. I want to think about the future. The one nice thing about being trapped in the inexorable grind of time is you've always got something to look forward to. Me too. I don't think I've ever looked forward to anything as much. You better go enjoy the party before I do something I'll regret. I like you unburnt, after all. Bye, soldier. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Desperate people. Refugees. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Share a bottle with me? We should wait a little while. Until the others have drifted off. As you like. Try not to tire yourself out too much. My name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. Haste. I would have words. Buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. You've picked up a few pleasant memories on your journey, amongst your struggles. With a profane flush of arousal, you realize she may well be doing the same. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done. And I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. I suppose it was too much to hope we were going to be cured here and now. To Moonrise, then. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicius, Shah worshippers. Sounds rather ingenious. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But 
He was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. I advise you start in the Temple of Saluna. If you find the Dark Justicia's hidden entrance, it could lead you all the way to Moonrise. One of the adventurers had a clue to help find it. A dwarf called Brian. It might still be found on his corpse. Wherever the goblins left it. May Sylvanas guide us. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. And just when things were warming up. Mm. Oakfather's blessings to you. Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books. But I can find all the wisdom they contain out here, firsthand. Is that so? <laughs> well, nature does abhor waste. I will keep watch, thank you. I had a feeling time in your company would prove fruitful. Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thormund his Dark Justicias years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse, just as you find a cure for your infection. 